Hello and welcome to the Parkinson's Doctor channel, the channel where we discuss uh, multiple medical topics in an easy and informative way. My name is Dr. Ramon Rodriguez. I am a neurologist and movement disorder specialist at the Neurology One Clinic in Orlando, Florida. And before I continue, I want to thank uh, all of you who have uh, subscribed to the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, even more, I appreciate all the feedback and the comments and the questions and the suggestions that many of you have been adding to the channel. So I am very thankful for that. And those of you that are watching, uh, make sure that you have subscribed. There is no cost on the uh, subscription. And that way you will be able to receive uh, the new videos as soon as they are published. For today, we're going to talk about Lewy body disease. And Lewy body disease is a common but often misdiagnosed form of dementia that affects more than 1 million people in the United States alone. And uh, this is important because Lewy body uh, disease is frequently confused with Parkinson's disease. And I can probably say that 99% of people with Lewy body disease were initially diagnosed with Parkinson's disease. Uh, to have a better understanding, Lewy body disease is caused by the abnormal accumulation of a protein deposit called the Lewy body in the brain. And these deposits interfere with the normal function of the brain cells. And what happens is that this will cause a range of symptoms that will affect uh, cognition, movement, uh, behavior, and sleep. So as you can see, many things are affected uh, when a person has uh, Lewy body disease. And uh, let's talk about what are the main clinical features of uh, Lewy body disease. So in first place, I, I believe that uh, the most common feature is the uh, fluctuation in cognitive impairment. And what this means is that uh, the person's mental abilities will, will change from day to day. There will be fluctuation that uh, might even be seen from hour to hour. And, and this is very classic of people with uh, Lewy body disease. And they might have periods where they are confused, they will have memory issues, difficulty concentrating, hallucinations and delusions. However, they might have other times when they are doing a lot better. And sometimes the family, uh, you know, ask themselves, you know, is there something wrong with mom or dad? Because she's looking great now, but yesterday she was not doing this well. Now, the next thing is that uh, a lot of these patients will have Parkinsonism, and this refers to the movement problems that are similar to those seen in Parkinson's disease. And, and, and this is actually why uh, most of them are confused with Parkinson's disease initially. And part of those symptoms include tremors, stiffness, slowness, and balance issues. And those are actually the four cardinal symptoms of Parkinson's disease. So, so once again, they're very similar. And then the other thing is that they will show something called REM sleep behavior disorder. And uh, I think that I have mentioned this in other videos before, but REM sleep behavior disorder is a condition where the person acts out their dreams during sleep. And sometimes uh, this acting out is quite violent. There will be uh, kicking, throwing punches, uh, shutting out, and some of them may even fall out of bed. So uh, this is something that could happen, you know, 5, 10, 15, uh, you know, some reports mention that this could happen even 20 years before the person is finally diagnosed with Lewy body disease. Another symptom is autonomic dysfunction, and autonomic dysfunction deserves to have a full video on its own. But just as a quick summary, this means that the person will have problems with regulating the blood pressure, heart rate, temperature, and digestion, and they may experience fainting spells, dizziness, constipation, or urinary incontinence as a result of this. Now, the diagnosis of Lewy body disease is based on the presence of these core features, as well as some supportive features that may include the following. So in first place, and I want you to put, listen to this because this is very important. Most of these patients, and I probably, uh, uh, you know, will adventure to say that all of them will have hallucinations and most times will be hallucinations that are quite vivid, they will be uh, recurrent, and they usually involve people or animals. And, you know, probably they begin with uh, the sensation that somebody is uh, next to them. You know, they'll be looking to their sides, thinking that uh, there might be a, a person next uh, uh, to the person that is suffering from Lewy body disease, and this will continue evolving. Now, 
Let me tell you what happens. So initially, uh, these hallucinations might actually be pleasant. They might see uh, people around, children playing, uh, maybe animals uh, or, you know, friends or, or even people that might have passed away. Um, and, and they feel good that that person is around. However, most times what is going to happen is that they will become quite frightening uh, for that person and very uh, bothersome. Uh, the other thing is these people will be quite sensitive to antipsychotic drugs. So what this means is that some people with Lewy body disease, they may have severe adverse reactions to antipsychotic medications used to treat these uh, hallucinations or the agitation associated with this. And these reactions may include worsening of the Parkinsonism, confusion, and some people, unfortunately, uh, might die as a result of this. Now, in the previous video, I actually uh, had a conversation about the DASCAN and whether the DASCAN is truly diagnostic of uh, Parkinson disease. But what we see is that people with Lewy body disease will have an abnormal DAT scan as well. And this is one of those conditions where the DAT scan is not able to differentiate one condition from the other. So uh, patients with uh, Lewy body disease uh, will uh, show reduced activity of dopamine, which is that chemical messaging that is involved in movement and cognition in the part of the brain called the basal ganglia. So there will be an abnormality observed in the uh, DASCAN in that patient population with Lewy body disease. So how do we treat Lewy body disease? And I'll have to tell you that this is quite challenging. So the treatment options for Lewy body disease are, are quite limited and mainly aim uh, to manage the symptoms and improve the quality of life of the person and their caregiver. So unfortunately, there is no cure for this condition and it tends to progress over time. Um, so, so it can be quite challenging, right? However, some of the treatments that may be helpful are, are the following. So number one, cholinesterase inhibitors, and these are drugs that increase the level of acetylcholine, which is another chemical messenger that is involved in cognition and memory, and they may help with uh, cognitive impairment and hallucinations. And examples of these medications are donepecil, rivastigmine, and galantamine. And this medication has been around for a very long time, and, and they're actually quite inexpensive. Uh, most of them are taken uh, once a day. Uh, however, uh, one of them might actually be taken uh, twice a day. So you, you will have uh, this conversation with your doctor when the time comes um, and it is, uh, you know, you make a selection about the medicine that you are going to uh, use. Another medication that I like to use is levodopa. And, and levodopa is the same medication in carbidopa, levodopa, right? So in this case, carbidopa, levodopa, 25100. And the idea behind this is that uh, what we're trying to do is to replace dopamine in the brain and help with the Parkinsonian symptoms. However, however, we have to be very careful because using levodopa in this population might worsen uh, the hallucinations or confusion in some people. So the dose, the timing needs to be carefully adjusted. We have to begin with a very low dose and every person is going to be different. So we have to be very mindful about it. But the truth is that, at least in my opinion, it is worth it to continue to, to try this medicine. And while many people might not obtain a very robust benefit from this medicine, even if they have a 10, 20, 25% improvement, I believe that it is better than nothing, right? So based on that, I think that it is worth to try Carbidopa, Levodopa. Another medication that uh, can be used in this population can be a melatonin or clonazepam, and these medicines are used to help with the REM sleep behavior disorder. And the goal is to reduce the frequency and intensity of the, of the very vivid dreams, right? Now, there are some non-pharmacological interventions, and every person with Lewy body disease must be exposed to these, and they need to be taken into consideration. And while some of them might sound kind of simple, they can be very useful. So to begin, uh, cognitive stimulation therapy and cognitive exercises might be quite, quite beneficial. Physical exercise, uh, the help of a physical therapy and occupational therapy uh, can be quite useful in this uh, population. Music therapy, aromatherapy, and then 
uh, other activities that may enhance the person's well-being and, and they reduce stress. And they also involve providing a safe and supportive environment for the person. And also, we need to make sure that we take care of the caregiver, right? Because, uh, you know, th these conditions can be difficult. And I have to say that uh, caregivers are very uh, committed to their family members, to their loved ones. But it can be very stressful. It can be quite uh, demanding uh, for them. And, and, and getting involved in these activities might actually make things a little bit easier. Now, what is the progression of Lewy body disease? And uh, the truth is that this uh, varies from person to person, and it depends on many factors such as the age, or what, time, what time, what age the person is developing this condition, what is the severity of the symptoms when they are showing up in the clinic. Some people show up very early, some people show up later. Uh, some people uh, follow exercises and, and very healthy therapies that might be able to help uh, slow down the, the progression of this condition. We have to take into consideration coexisting medical conditions and then how they respond to treatment. And uh, what I might to mention here is that, you know, some people might try, for example, the carbidopa, levodopa, they will respond uh, well, they feel like they're getting good improvement, while we have some people that they find no benefit at all, right? So, so those that get some benefit at least will be able to exercise a little bit easier, and that can make uh, things uh, a little bit better for them, right? However, some people, you know, will, will you know, the, the typical life expectancy uh, goes between five and 10 years in this population. Some people will live longer than this, so I, I don't want you to take this as written in stone, but, but be aware that for many people, you know, they, they, they have Parkinson's disease diagnosed for five or six years, and then they get diagnosed with Lewy body disease when they figure out that they are not responding well to the medicine, and that is the most likely diagnosis. So when we try to take that time into consideration, we might be talking about five to eight years, but uh, once again, you know, some people will live longer than that. You know, Lewy body disease is very complex and, and challenging condition. And, and as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't only affect uh, the person that is dealing with the condition, but also it can affect the family members, it can affect their friends. And it is important to seek professional help and support from medical experts, social workers, psychologists, and other resources that may be available in your area. And I believe that probably the most important thing to do initially is find a movement disorder specialist or a, a neurologist that has um, experience taking care of this uh, population. Number one, to make the, the diagnosis, confirm the diagnosis, and then come up uh, with a plan of action uh, that might be able to improve the quality of life of that person and then trying to, uh, to make the process easier for the uh, family members as well. You know, Remember that you're not alone in this journey. You know, there are many doctors, you know, we're here in the Orlando, Florida area. There are, there are many other movement disorder specialists in, 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 in the rest of Florida and, and the rest of the United States, uh, for that matter. And we're working very hard. You know, we really want to find a cure for these conditions. But short of a cure, we're trying to find things that uh, will try to slow down the uh, uh, progression of this condition and, uh, and, and trying to make your life better, right? Try to improve the symptoms. So I really hope that this video has given you uh, some useful information about uh, this, uh, this condition uh, that you can understand a little bit better uh, what is happening. And once again, I am very thankful uh, uh, for you watching the Parkinson's Doctor channel. Uh, once again, the, you know, do not forget to uh, subscribe to our channel for more videos and medical topics. And uh, the one thing that we're starting to do is uh, I actually uh, created a transcript of this uh, presentation. So everything that I just mentioned, I will have it in a PDF format and I will put it in the uh, uh, YouTube channel page. And uh, the other option is, you know, we have a, a, a sister web page called learnaboutparkinson.com. So all this information, we're also posting it there for those that uh, prefer to have kind of a library of all the things that were discussed in this channel. So once again, uh, thank you uh, very much for your uh, attention and uh, don't miss the next video. So in the next video, I actually will be discussing the differences between Lewy body disease 
and Parkinson's disease in more detail. So, so for those that were diagnosed with Parkinson's disease and now their doctor told them that they have Lewy body disease, it will help them understand better what is happening. Thank you very much and until the next video. Thank you.